Hola amigos, bienvenido a Medellín, Colombia. <laughs> Welcome to Medellin, Colombia. We're gonna to go to Comuna 13 today. It used to be one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in at least Medellin. I don't know if of all Colombia, Medellin has a history of being a very dangerous city, one of the most dangerous cities in the 90s in the world. Um, used to be, uh, things are reforming now and a lot of people think that Colombia is just this dangerous drug dealing country and that's not true there's a lot more to Colombia than just what has been in the history just like people are able to change countries are able to change countries have changed and you cannot label an entire country or an entire people off of one part of history but we're going to be in Colombia in the present day now that does not mean that there are cities that are not dangerous because there is danger in every, any country I literally got pickpocketed in London okay there's danger in every city, but there's definitely a lot of danger still in Colombia. So we have to be very careful, especially as a solo female traveler. Fortunately, I'm with Wi-Fi Artist. It's a digital nomad community where you're linked up with other digital nomads. You live in the same space. You do all the activities together and you eat, you eat together. You choose what you want to do together. You can, be, you can do whatever you want. I have my own room here, which is really nice. And right now I'm just getting ready to go to Camino 13. But first, I just got a new hard drive. It's five terabytes, which I'm hoping will <laughs> last me longer than all the other hard drives that I have. Um, I am living out of two suitcases. I don't have a home, so I have to be very mindful of what I pack, and I cannot pack that much. Bienvenido, Medellin. <laughs> chain my phone. Um, I would do this now even in London because I'm I'm traumatized by the experience and I do believe if anything got stolen here I uh, have a lot harder time replacing it because um, like Apple products and stuff are not as common here because you have to import them. Just trying to stay on the safe side because I never do. Um, learning from my mistakes. Just squished in here. We got our... Uh, Hola. Buenas tardes. I'll, I'll link their channel down below actually, they, uh, <laughs> they do a YouTube travel stuff. Thank but you. We are headed to Comuna 13 now and we finally got a taxi. It's kind of weird getting Ubers and taxis here, I guess, um, but not as reliable. But, got one and we're gonna go here. There are 16 communas in Medellin. Comuna 13 started out with immigrants escaping conflict and they had very few skills, so they were vulnerable to offers from gangs involved in smuggling and trafficking drugs. Push, Mango. Zipa. Push, push. <laughs> Wars, murders, and illegal activity got out of control, making it a literal battlefield in one of the most dangerous areas in the world. In 2002, 10 military operations were implemented after the wars to eradicate the intense crime. In 2006, they put a budget towards improving the quality of Comuna 13 after the years of turmoil and neglect. They added in cable cars in 2009, and in 2011, they added in the first escalators used for social purposes since Community 13 is quite steep and hard to get up. A side effect of the project along with street art was an increase of tourists and now the people are more happy and at peace and they are welcoming and it's a beautiful artistic place with lots of music, food, art, dancing and street performers.
no puedo, soy un autóctono. Mis letras son perfectos diálogos en templo con rimas de oro que no exhiben en catálogos. Sin párroco, mi lápiz es un álamo. Mis hojas son un áramo donde quemo mis árrafos, escribo a cántaros. The cup is cultivated at uh, 1,800 meters. At the end of our tour, we were pretty hungry, so we stopped to get some food at this authentic Colombian place. I special requested a vegetarian option since they didn't have any vegetarian options, and it was very good. This is a typical Colombian meal. Alright, so I'm finally back from Camino 13. Um, there's so many people lots and lots of tourists and people up and down but i don't know how it is not on the weekends but yeah it didn't feel too bad it didn't feel too dangerous so also i just wanted to point out quickly they have milk in bags here it's another beautiful day the weather here is great like i feel like i haven't been in this summertime type of weather for so long so today i decided i'm probably just gonna go to the gym and do some meditation before that it's really nice to, have, to wake up and have such beauty right in front of you. Um, comment below what you guys want to see here. I got this pillowcase. But I got it because like my black hair dye keeps getting on everything, so I don't want to get black hair dye on hotels or apartment pillowcases, so I just use my own pillowcase now. I'm going to meditate and then go to, to the gym. And align the crown of your head over the bowl of your pelvis. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. So last night, um, kind of close to where we're at, there was a stabbing and a robbery. So we're not really supposed to walk uh, at night by ourselves anymore, which is fine. I just kind of did tonight one last time because I needed to go back and edit. But yeah, in terms of danger for for that, things like that do happen. So um, being out at night by yourself is not advised anywhere in Medellin. So. But I'm very happy right now. So besides going to the gym and exploring, I've also been taking a bit of Spanish lessons. The best way to do it is just to practice. Grr. And so... Grr. 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 I think it's easy to you. As well as salsa lessons. So I just learned salsa dancing. I learned a lot. I did pretty well. I'll show you my moves. So I'm at this Valentine's Day. Just editing this video actually, and I don't usually add in videos of me editing the videos, but I wanted to leave you off with a finish um, and just a summary. Um, about the safety of Colombia. So far, I've been here a while now and we are going to Santa Marta in a couple days. There was a YouTuber that made a video. She got a gun pointed at her and robbed or something. I don't know. There's some, there's dangerous places and things do happen. Um, so we're gonna, you know, try and be safe and careful there. There are videos I've seen of people getting mugged and stuff like that, but that happens in other countries as well. So far, I haven't had anything bad happen. No close calls or anything yet. I don't want to say that, oh, it's been such a breeze, because you never know until it actually happens. So in terms of safety though, I've been with a group and I do walk and go out by myself, but I go to safe areas. So I think if you just be smart about it, you should be okay. But in terms of safety, I'd say, if you're a solo female traveler, find some other people to do things with, for sure. Do tours, be with other people. Um, that's my summary so far. Things could change, who knows what's gonna happen, but that's been my experience being here like three weeks. Stay extraterrestrial, I love you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Oh.